Hi, in this video we're going to demonstrate how to use a opportunity edit form. Uh, I've got an account here. Tool menu on the form builder sub menu option and I've got a form built here opportunity uh, external edit of an opportunity and you'll see here what I've done is I've got the form created as a opportunity edit. This translation is for real estate. It calls it a property, uh, property edit. But uh, for non-real estate edition users, this would be considered an opportunity edit form. You'll see that I've just got uh, four fields included in this form. And so uh, rather than going through the specifics of, of inside, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you what this form looks like from the outside perspective. So what I've done is I've created an email uh, an email template, I've sent it to myself with a little bit of an ex explanation of what's happening here. So this is uh, an email that has been sent out. It has a link to this form that I have created and it's got some further instructions here. So let's go ahead and click this link and we're going to see what that form generates. You'll see that when you create a form you're greeted with a, a field that says input an opportunity number and an opportunity name. Well, inside my email template, I have included that opportunity name and the opportunity number. And so when I submit that, then I'm able to go and update information that already exists inside of my account. So as I go ahead and, and change that information and submit it, I've just made a change to the database from outside. So that, that email can be sent to somebody, they can update a few key statistics, and that information will be updated back inside the database. So I also wanted to show you exactly what's happening with the record. So here I am on the opportunity record. I'm going to go down here to the closing tab and you'll see that those fields that I had selected to update, loan status, title status, and check approved, file complete, those are now updated. Now what I'd like to do in this demonstration is to show you one more little trick and give you some examples of how how you can use these forms in even a more intuitive way. Okay, so here we are back at the email template that I created that I sent out. Now you notice in this email I've got a slightly different URL. This one says form host, that's the uh, form URL. This one says form submit to and it has this FBID FBKY and then it has the opportunity number opportunity name. So where does this FBID and these FBKY come from? Let me show you. Okay so here we are back inside of our tool builder. This is the hosted form URL. That's where the FBID and the FBKY come from. And then it's also asking for an opportunity number and opportunity name. And you'll see down here if you're familiar with HTML you'll recognize that this parameter that's being posted into this form right here is what we've captured on that other page. So what we've done is we basically dug into the HTML of that page to grab those two extra parameters and we've merged those parameters in the form of an email template. So let me show you what the result is. We'll come back up here. Again, we'll look at this, this um, URL that we're going to post to. Notice how we can see that it has the opportunity name in there, it has the opportunity number, and then it has this FBID and this FBK. Uh, FBKY. We're going to go ahead, we're going to click that link. We're going to see that what it's done is it has actually bypassed the screen where we put the opportunity number and the opportunity name in and it's taken me right to the point where I can edit each of those. I can change that information. And now as I go back into my account you'll see that those changes would be reflected. There's those changes reflected back in my account. Okay, so now the one last thing that you might want to know is how was that email template created? And that's what I'm going to show you right now. So I'm over here under the admin email templates. I have created that as a uh, property for the real estate folks. This is uh, known as an opportunity for anybody that's not in a real estate edition. And here's what you'll see on this email template that we've used the merge fields for opportunity name, the merge fields for opportunity number. And down here, what we've done is we've taken that, that URL that has the FBID, the FBKY, and we've merged in the EF number and the EF names. And where you get those merge fields is over here to the right, you'll see all those merge fields. 
That should give you a good head start on how to use the opportunity edit and the contact edit forms function very similarly. Thank you.